Jesus, the centrality of the mission of Jesus was only to proclaim Muhammad, nothing else. He didn't come to die. He didn't come to save anybody. He didn't come to be buried, rise again, intercede, none of that stuff. No, no, no. no. According to the Quran, he came only to proclaim Muhammad. So Jesus himself is a Muslim. That's what they believe. So, Jesus came to proclaim Muhammad. Now, we say, but okay, maybe they mixed up with one prophecy somewhere in the New Testament and they misunderstood the Greek and Muhammad didn't realize that. No, he did. He understood it well. He tried to bring a different view. So, in Surah 7, Surah Al-Araf, he says, and Nabil Ummi, الذي يجدونه مكتوبا في التوراة والإنجيل the unlettered prophet whom they find him mentioned in all of their scriptures in the law and the gospels meaning from Genesis to Revelation all of these scriptures all of this Bible speaks only of Muhammad every prophecy in there according to Islam speaks of Muhammad and none other but Muhammad they say, wait a second, but that can't be true. He said, ah, you see, when the, the Christians tried to tell that Muhammad, he said, no, 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 no. You guys change your scriptures. It's coming up in the next verse. They know him, meaning Muhammad, as they know their children, but they are lost. They have lost their souls. So they don't recognize because every prophecy in their book says detailed way, in detailed manner, how he looks like, how tall, what shape of eyes, what colors, what hair, every minutiae details is given about him. So they know him. And then the next ones in Surah 2 said, yes, they changed the scriptures, they perverted it knowingly. And then verse 79, it goes on to say, وَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابِ بَيْدِيهِمْ ثُمَّ يَقُولُونَ هَذَا مِنْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ Woe unto those that write their own books with their own hands and then say this is from Allah a revelation for a miserable price. Oh dear. So a charge, an accusation that we've changed the scriptures, that it is for, we falsified it, we knew all about Muhammad, Islam is the religion, and we are now not being truthful, renegades, so are we called. In the next one, as you would see, you would say, so what kind of Bible do you believe in? The Quran says, أَلَمْ تَرَ الَّذِينَ أُعْطُوا نَصِيبًا مِنَ الْكِتَابَةِ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْجِبِتْ وَالطَّاغُوتِ وَيَقُولُونَ لِلَّذِينَ كَفُرُوا هَوِلَا أَهْدَى مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Quran says, the people of the book, the scriptures, do you not know that they have been given a portion, not the whole book, just a portion, because this book is not complete without that one. Mm. So that one completes this one, perfects it. But what do they believe? They believe in evil, in sorcery, in witchcraft, they practice it. They say to the unbelievers, you are better guided than the believers, meaning the Muslims. Allah has cursed them. Whosoever Allah has cursed, you will find for him no helper. So we are all cursed, according to the Quran, by Allah. We are under a curse. We are cursed, so we don't believe. And therefore, all our doctrines, everything that we believe is completely wrong. The centrality of the scriptures is fully and absolutely denied, rejected, refuted, by the Quran. So this is the verses that we saw now. Yes. You don't. Hmm. The Bible says. According to Corinthians. The gospel is there. According to the scriptures. Christ came. From virgin birth. He, wrote, he died. For you and me. Was buried. Rose on the third day. No man shall call him Lord except by the power of the Holy Spirit. Does the Quran say that? No, 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 no. 
The Quran immediately challenges that very centrality of the gospel. The cross, it challenges. They neither did they kill him, nor did they crucify him. They only follow the figment of their imagination. It only appeared to them so. Only appeared to them so. They blaspheme, they apostatize, who say that Christ Jesus is Lord, the Son of Mary. That's what the Quran says. They say, They blaspheme, who say that Allah is a three of a third in a trinity. In other words, a trinitarian God is apostasy. Jesus dying on the cross is apostasy. Calling him Lord and Savior is apostasy. All of this is apostasy. Biblical truth and reality, Islam does not accept. Yes, so there it is. So the Muslims, as far as they're concerned, the Quran says, Kuntum khayra ummatan ukhrijat linnas. You are the best of the people brought about to mankind. You command virtue, you command good things, and you prohibit vice and evil. So, but what about the Christians? Mm. They are the worst of Allah's creation. The worst of Allah's creature on the face of earth, they are going to be in hellfire forever and ever and ever. So, that's where we are going to be. This religion, Allah, keep it this one, this is very important. This is what Muhammad said. The earth has been declared unto me a mosque. You see that where the mosque is? The earth is inside it. Can you have a part of that a corner of a mosque as a church? Can you? That's what the Quran teaches. Inna dina and Allah al-Islam, the religion unto Allah is Islam. Wajuila lil arda masjidan, and the earth has been declared unto me a mosque. So what is worship? How does one worship? Worship is ibadah. Prayer in Islam is worship, is ibadah. Fasting is worship. All of this is worship. Ibadah, of course, first thing of worship is to implement the laws of Allah that he has revealed to Muhammad. All the laws that Allah revealed to Muhammad in the 7th century must be applied and enforced on everybody, not only on Muslims, even on non-Muslims. Because that is an obligation and not a matter of choice because this is worship. You remember that first square, the religious system and life being a tiny part of it. That is this an understanding of that. Now, if anybody opposes that, jihad would be necessitated. So the outworking of this worship is prayer is worship. Fasting is, prayer, is worship. Of course, the hajj is, prayer, is worship. The hijab is worship. You see, a lot of people in England did not know the hijab is worship. Jack Straw probably didn't know that, but now he knows. It is worship. Jihad is worship. The slaying of Allah's enemies. If you become a Christian, if you're a Muslim, you become a Christian. And the Muslims try to kill you or torture you, persecute you. This is worship. They are offering worship unto Allah. So jihad is worship. This is what Islam is. And jihad is there to extend the territories of Allah. Yes, yes. It is to establish Islam. It brings a dominion, the territories that are not under the dominion of Allah, under the dominion of Allah. It brings the influence of Islam in everywhere. Jihad does not mean only with a sword. It can be intellectual. It can be financial. It can be political. It can be in public opinion. It can be in any and every form and shape. So this jihad, Hold on for a second. This jihad is practiced fully. So what we, what we have seen in Madrid, 9-11, 7-7, and God forbid, but more to come, 